In this video, I'm going to show you some footage from the final talk in which I demonstrate the first song I ever used and the important lesson I learned about accountability with procedures. And just so you know, the song's Bill Nye the Science Guy. We're going to hear about a five, six, seven second clip, which is louder than I'd like it to be, but I can't control that in post production. So, a little heads up about that. So, let's uh, go back to the final talk. First song I ever used Bill Nye the Science Guy. Love the song. Now, it's not the song that was so important, it's what it indicated they were supposed to do. And what it meant was, come to the carpet. For years, our district was really hot on getting kids to come to the carpet. That was a big thing for a while. Okay, that's going to be a big thing. I've got to make this an easy thing. And my voice won't do it. Can you guys come to the carpet? Come to the carpet, please. No, no, leave your stuff there. Leave your stuff there. Just come to the carpet. We have a lesson. No, come to the carpet. Come Now, everybody, carpet time, carpet time. No. Here's the important piece though. Whatever song you use, make sure what it means is easy for you to assess compliance. Coming to the carpet, yes, no game. You're either on the carpet by the time the song is over or you're not. If the song meant organize your desk, how do you assess that? Because if you can't hold them accountable, and this isn't just music, if you're not gonna hold them accountable to your procedures, don't introduce your procedures. You're merely undermining your own authority by asking them to do something you're not going to back up. But come to the carpet, and if you didn't make the carpet on time, again, limit testing, I just jotted your name down. That's it. Because everybody else was here. Just jot your name down. And when I was done with the lesson and released everyone for the production piece, I just held you back. What didn't you get about the uh, Bill Nye song? Yeah, what does it mean? Yes, come to the carpet, but you didn't. Magic question again. Did you think I was kidding? I'll tell you, I wasn't kidding. And again, chance to save face. What are you going to do the next time you hear that song? Oh, good. Come to the carpet. That's it, buddy. That's it. It's, it's 29 seconds long. You could crawl to the carpet in 29 seconds. <laughs> what voice? Come on. What voice was that? Inner voice. He said I had to crawl to the carpet, Mom. <laughs> Short songs are almost magical in how they help students become more self-directed and independent. My only caution is that you go easy at first. You don't want to try a whole bunch of songs and overwhelm them. I'd rather have one song they do well than five songs they kind of sleepwalk through. So one song, dial it in, give them a chance to really internalize it. That might take a couple of weeks and that's okay, you got them all year. Then you might think about bringing in a second song, but before too long you can use as many songs as you want. Thanks for watching.